93. All right, we are live. Good afternoon and welcome to On The Spot 947, where we sit down, have a little afternoon tete with some of the biggest and talented names in the arts and even those who are on their artistic journey in the hopes of changing and influencing the world. Now for today, in our second uh, online equivalent of the show, we have a returning guest. Hello again, Miss Jenny Tenioso. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hello. I'd like to say welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's been it's uh it's been a while. Uh, just to refresh our audience's uh, memory, the last time we got to speak to Janine was actually back in October 18 of last year. So oh. yeah, so almost a year now. So had we moved the guesting further, uh, it would probably coincide with I don't know a one year anniversary guesting. So <laughs> one year anniversary guesting, may mascot na akong katabi dito. Mas balu ko <laughs> ano no, and baka magpadala pa ako ng tutorial. <laughs> so a lot has changed since then and although it's great to have you back and seeing you once again all of this of course alas is from uh, a safer distance now around this time last year we also spoke to janine who won an Abbott award for your version of the ichi worm song Dina Muli, and how winning awards uh motivates you to be a better artist and if not any other artist uh for that matter I will be motivated because of the awards that they get. And and these days, a simple a text message or how are you, uh, it means more than just what you did recently or what you ate or where did you go, but more like how are you dealing with the crisis that has rocked the world literally and stopping everyone and everything uh, in its tracks. I'm just curious, when the lockdown was enforced, where were you? Well, I was at home. Mm -hmm. I was... I was really shocked with everything that was going on. It happened so quickly and so fast. And um, well, I, I dealt with it with with my family at home, and uh -huh. you know, I, I just focused on what what I love to do, which is music. Right, right, and it's a good thing that you have music to fall back on too. Um, some people didn't have that, uh, but did you think that it will have that much of an impact on the entertainment scene when that happened? Um, do I think I have an impact? No, no, I mean, the, the impact, let's say, of the lockdown. Did you think it, 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 it had that much of an impact on right. the entertainment scene when it happened? Yes, I think it does. I mean, um, one, of the, one of the industries that are affected by this pandemic is the music industry because there are no live gigs. Yes. And, you know, we have to, we have to do online gigs, which, is, which are like these and... You know, I really, I really just miss being with the crowd and you know performing live, and that's exactly. what I think I miss out on the most. Yeah, and, this in, and every performer will always get their energy from the crowd. Right? If if you have an appreciative crowd in front of you, then that fuels you to to do more or or, or to give more. And right. um, yeah. while the effect of pandemic has been obviously destructive and devastating a lot of people were able to rise above it and even start uh, a thriving business in spite of it i'm sure you've seen it online some people went into cooking some people yeah. went into baking and started selling uh did you probably do anything of that nature <laughs> well not business wise but i'm okay. helping a lot of my business friends ah, you know, okay. post them, posting them on social media but me personally i, I I'm just, I'm just working out my music and I'm actually preparing for an album. So that's what wonderful, I've been wonderful, focusing wonderful. on. Um, artists are no different. And uh, I'm sure you were able to you know, be creative in your own way uh, during the lockdown. But uh, let me you know, shift back a little bit to business uh, and said people were starting doing business uh, during the lockdown. But I, I also heard that you went back to school right yeah, uh, yeah. On an online learning program that's based in the uk can you tell us a little bit about that well i was actually already an online student when i before the pandemic so okay. I, I i'm a third year college student online in sisfu um in southville and um i am graduating this year so oh, <laughs> i'm very happy awesome. congratulations <laughs> thank you <Yes. laughs> Awesome. That's great. I mean, you know, talk about being creative and multitasking. I, I have to congratulate you for that, uh, that, you're, that you've made it this far. 
and uh, also but because not everybody will be thinking of going back to school or, or finishing or getting a degree, um, especially if they are in the forefront of a successful career in the arts. I mean, if you're, you're busy with your gigs, you're busy with your music, uh, why should I even be thinking about school? So what made you go back to school? Well, I actually just wanted, you know, a different perspective, I guess. And like, I, I wanted to explore also in different advent advent ventures of, of, mm-hmm. my, of mm-hmm. my career and not just in music, you know. Um, that's why I also chose business management. So I could also, you know, um, know about the business world and maybe I can apply that to, mu- to my music since I'm also a brand, you know. And right, yeah, right. that's why, that's why. Yeah, I these two artists manage. sometimes also have to take a step back and realize that they are not just, let's say, a creative person. They are also a brand. They, they, they sometimes stop and, and, and remember and probably tell yourself, you're a person, yes, but you are also a brand. <laughs> so you have to think of the brand. You have to market the brand as properly as you right, can. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, so that's true. And, and, and I, mm-hmm, go ahead. Yeah, and I feel like um, once you step into the industry and you know choose this path, it's it's like in you that you have to take responsibility for your figure and for your image, you know, and your I, brand. <laughs> <laughs> so in short, it has to be strict diet or no carbs. <laughs> Or, no, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> or uh, inter- yeah, intermittent fasting, <laughs> 15 or 20 hours. <laughs> well, well, I'm actually like talking about character voice, you know. Sorry, what was that? I, I was actually like pertaining to character. Oh, character wise. Okay. Your okay. Heart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you mean character. We can do that. We can do that. <laughs> um, well, everything now is, is online. Uh, we've also seen kids, you've probably seen uh, online videos, kids having a hard time paying attention to online classes, they doze off. Uh, sadly, that's our new normal, and I can't wait for everything to go back to how it was before COVID, to live events, and, and, and simple pleasures, just going out and meeting your friends, going out and having you know coffee with, with your manager or with your family, and, or even with your fans. Um, speaking of fans, we've got some uh, people who are online joining us. Let's see. Saying hi to whoa, a list of people. It's like prop up on my screen. Uh, let's see. Mark Reyes Marcelo, and he says shout out to uh, hashtag Team Janine Lovers. So hey, hey Team Janine and Janine Lovers. There you go. Richard Cabrera is also joining us today. There is also Karen Karen Galleta, uh, and hi, Karen. also Alnica Alnica Aniban is also here. Then there's also JM, JM Orr, and we have Claire Tiffany. Hello, Claire Tiffany. Nice to join us today. Wow, we have 65 people joining us. Wonderful. Um, also, uh, Alika says, Ang ganda mo. Not just mo, but M O O O O O O. Thank you. <laughs> um, Mark, Mark has a lot of shout outs. Uh, shout out to our personal uh, hi to Mark Reyes Marcelo. Hi, Mark. Mark Reyes Marcelo. There you go. Uh, Sheila Marie Vicente also says to Janine. Sheila. And Michael Angelo Ong. There you go. Hi, Michael. And we also have, who else do we have? Uh, Yas Imperial. Okay, yeah. Hello, She's got a lot yes. of stats. I mean, the name speaks for itself. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we enter the room or when people ask your name what's your name yes okay. uh dan dan young Hilario Tomon, who says Hi, uh, pretty, who says pretty janine thank you yeah. so we all agree on that one we so 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 agree on that one um jenny b guamos hello as well for joining us today and also tipsy lauchenko kujiwara Oh, that's my Tita from Japan. Oh, oh nice. Hi, Tita Tutsi. She's yeah. like an hour in advance from where we are. Yeah. So but, uh, four o'clock already there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, family members to join you as well. Cristobal Alpay. There you go. Hi, Cristobal. And Marian Tabasa is also here with us online. Okay. Hi, Marian. All right. 
and uh, Jean Hazel Corpus. All right. Nice. Okay. We'll get to some more names as we uh, progress. Now, um, I remember you also said that you wanted to help your family take care of the business, which is also one of the reasons why you, you went back to school. Um, out of curiosity, or if you can disclose it, uh, what sort of business is your family in? Um, well, actually, um, it's it's not really um, a business. It's a nonprofit organization. It's called okay. Breaking Silence. It's it's an organization to help those that are abused sexually and mm -hmm. um, at home, and um, those are those are outside. It's actually my sister's business, so okay. I'm helping that. I'm helping that out. Yeah, that's a that's a very noble cause. Uh, not to mention, it's also a serious cause. Um, is that the only cause that you uh, that you feel strongly about, or do you also align yourself with other causes out there that uh, that people might not know about? Well, um, aside from that, I'm actually also um, supporting the cause of environmental. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I have this friend. Um, she's um, organizing this Taya Pinas PH. So I don't know okay. if the people. Are, right here watching us know about that well, they will yes. now because you have <laughs> enough ph okay all right yes, so let's listening. let's support this and um it's an environmental organization too so. right great i mean people really should learn how to go give back to the environment uh we should also learn not just to cut trees but also plant back the trees that <laughs> yeah. uh that cut, right and uh yes to your own bags and no to plastic if you and help it okay um i was wondering if if you didn't go into music um assuming that let's say it's not a non-profit organization that you're you're involved in what probable line of business do you think you'd, you'd be in? <laughs> oh my gosh that's such a hard question <laughs> i don't know i've never really really seen myself outside of music you know it has always okay. been in me so since i was young i, I started singing when i was four so ever since it was music has just been part of me and even though i try to get away from it i always find myself yeah, coming we'll back, back to it right, right yeah so i've never seen myself outside of music but probably business businesswoman or something business i would make my coffee probably. my own coffee shop oh nice your own coffee shop <laughs> yeah. and of course we get to perform at your own coffee shop and your own brand <laughs> of, uh, of coffee yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Pinyosa coffee. Yeah, <laughs> like, Ganda. Or more like Cafe Tenioso. Oh, I am all for that. I am all for that. So uh, if there are any coffee lovers or coffee makers out there, I think this is a business that Janine would thrive in. So ipatent mo na yan. Uh, para walang mangkaya. Cafe Tenioso. Ipatent mo <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, if you haven't, let's say, thought of going into business, I mean, there's always a first time, and um, we all know that this is not your first time uh, to to write a song and uh, and and to bring it out into the uh, into the public. Um, what was that feeling when you first wrote uh, a song? Was that like an eye-opening experience for you that that, that kind of like certified or, or 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 gave you some sort of um, you know verification that? I can actually do this. Right, right. So uh, I started writing when I was seven, and um, it it was just pure um, worship stuff. And you know, I just use the same words for each sentence. But um, I started really um, writing songs professionally when I was sixteen, which is when I wrote Fall, and it was my first ever single under Viva. Mm -hmm. um, at first, I I never really thought that it would be a serious thing for me because I just write stuff, you know, based on what whatever I feel for, for the moment or for the day. It was not actually something that I would, you know, really focus on and prioritize. Mm -hmm. But when I started to release Fall under Viva, that was when I, um, you know, encouraged myself that, oh, I can really write and, you know, I should continue this and not just, you know, sing other people's songs, but, you know, make your own music own, and you yeah. know put put your own voice out there so right. that's when i your, your own started making it statements um uh, th were there ever days where in let's say you start a verse and then because you were busy for the day you weren't able to finish it 
but you have to continue on, let's say maybe when you come home or the day after, or you pick it up, pick the momentum up uh, when you can. Were there ever days that you had to do that? Yeah, uh, most of my songs are actually that way. So I started out in the morning and, you know, come back to it in the evening. Or like, there are also songs that I've made that it took me a month or mm-hmm. like a, a lot of a lot of months to to yeah, finish it to finish. and actually this this latest um single that i have it took me a year to um wow. to, to be able to arrange it and you know finish it as a whole but the writing is just within a month so. and this is the single is this uh, the a bit of that we're also going to be sharing after the interview of you performing uh that song uh, it's called music from Malay, isn't it yes maybe maybe really rather okay um i i know I, I got two sets of videos one is just you singing it and the other one you playing the guitar uh we don't get to see that side of you playing uh, an instrument uh is is uh is that something new for you playing the guitar or you've always uh composed songs with a guitar on you? um i've always written songs with my guitar i don't think um we we were ever separated you know and okay. um i've started well, like Taylor swift now as well so no um i started playing guitar when i was 10 so it has always been really a part of me so yeah every time i write songs i just grab my guitar and yeah, tear drops on my guitar <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> taylor thing also we quit there <laughs> <laughs> Shanga gaya sa last name mo, sige ka. <laughs> you, will have, you will have to copyright your name so that she can <laughs> she can't do that. Um, when you write your song, or this song in particular, uh, was there any particular inspiration uh, why the song was written? Um, sorry, you were a bit choppy there. Can't okay. Um, for this particular single uh, that you have, uh, we need money. Uh, is there a reason uh, why you wrote the song or how did the song come about? So um, the writing process, it's actually a collaboration with my friend and my mentor, Pauline Leron. Um, she wrote mm-hmm. the chorus part and she asked me to finish the verses. And um, I think my inspiration for that was I had a writer's block about a year ago and I wasn't okay. able to write for a year. So um, when, when, my, when my friend Pauline pitched the song to me, I think binuhus ko lahat dun sa kanta and um, I was able to write again. So probably, um, you know, the, the song for me, um, it says a lot about my creativity being born again. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like, it's like start, you, you probably felt like you were starting from scratch no? after yeah. having done it for, uh, for a long, long time. Um, do you find that it's easier to write about your own experiences or other people's experiences um, are also easy for you to write about or to sing about? Right. Um, I think for me, it's easier to write other people's experiences and, mm-hmm. um, you know, creating an experience. But um, I think it's it's really hard for me to get my emotions out there because I'm not, I'm, I think I'm a sheltered person. So okay. I, I don't really, you know, share my feelings to other people. So I guess it's harder for me to write my own experience. But right now, I'm actually learning that during this quarantine because, you mm-hmm. know, I'm just at home and I'm, I just talk to myself, you know. I'm the only one who I talk to. So I get to know more about myself. And I guess I'm getting rid of the emotions that, um, you know, that I'm, so that I'm having. Have, yeah. And, yeah. That's right. And well, if you're at your home, the best place in your home to sing is obviously the bathroom because of the echo. The echo is <laughs> That's you true. You can put an album in the bathroom with no need for any, you know, uh, technician or whatever. Just press record and, and sing <laughs> that's true. That's, that's good. have you tried doing that i mean when you know in, in between from when you were four to 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 growing up it's like <laughs> it's actually nice yung, yung sound sa bathroom sometimes i do my covers there so i don't have to edit it on garage band and put an echo to it so that's yeah. an idea that's an idea 
Pwede, pwede. Um, if you want I, real echo. Yeah, use the bathroom. bathroom. Uh, you know, that's something that uh, Josh Groban actually did during the, uh, the lockdown. I'm not sure if he's still doing that, but he calls it, uh, I think, bathroom sessions or something like that, wherein he will sing a snippet uh, or, or a chorus or, or half a song uh, in the bathroom and dependent on whatever song that uh, his fans would want him to, to sing. So you may want to start something like that as well. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, banyo birit. That's the hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, birit sa banyo. <laughs> Pwede. Diba? And uh, just make sure that it's not something that you do in the middle of the night because kawawa <laughs> naman <laughs> We're going to be, uh, they, they probably won't be sleeping and we'll just stay all night listening to you. <laughs> um, say hi again to Jericho, Arjona. Uh, we also have Erica. Hi, Joy, Jericho. Tejedor. Erica. And uh, let's see. Karen is still here. Jethro Ocampo. Hi, and, Jethro. Yeah. And she's asking, join us on our Twitter party using the tagline Janine Pinoso on BTNSMD. Yes, um, there's a music video coming out 8 p.m. later. So hopefully okay. they join us to everyone who's watching here. They, they join us on our Twitter party and YouTube premiere at 8 p.m. Awesome. At 8 p.m. Is this the, uh, the video for your single? No, it, it's please? actually a collaboration with the Who Ones. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Bakit to Nangyari Sa Atin. So uh, the music video of, of that is coming out later. Is eight. this going to be part of a movie soundtrack? Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but hopefully soon, I guess, in the hopefully. future. Fingers crossed. Not yet. I mean, but if people, <laughs> if people latch on and feel a strong connection to the song, I will not be surprised if it's going to be part of uh, a movie soundtrack. Since that's really where most of of your strong of you know your 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 suits uh, your your songs go uh and they and they perfectly blend into uh, a narrative of uh of a two hour or a one and a half hour uh movie uh jacob clemente also says hi hands up and then all the love a lot of emojis there and uh let's see Mar marianne tabasa hi. She says i'm cute for ate jenin <laughs> uh, let's see also wow we've got a lot of comments um let's see maybe we can turn this to like uh, an ask janine moment or ask janine hour or something <laughs> sure uh, sheila tams reading the comments Ooh, uh sheila. Sanila Ragot, or could that be a silent t or rago <laughs> uh let's see uh see you again jervis Gutierrez. Hi, jervis. omg says he, he, he. <laughs> and el chan hello my lozano Nagasca. uh marivic vaso congratulations at the love you <laughs> and uh again sheila tagged or talked about the the same hashtag later Princess Gian, hi Atika. Hello, Gian. Uh, hey, Mark, what is this? Uh, oh, thank you for the emoji. Uh, flexing the muscles. I can't do that here because this is not this is not a physical show. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you know, we always you know, support Janine. So this is obviously not going to be the last time that she's going to be here. She's here for the second time. So. There will obviously sure. be a third and a fourth and a fifth. You can guarantee that. Uh, Team Janine. Um, yeah, is, is that the, uh, the official uh, fan group that you call yourself, Team Janine, or is there some other name that uh, um, I should be knowledgeable of? Uh, actually, three uh, Team Janine, Janine mm -hmm. Lovers, and JK Besties. JK Besties. Ah. Yeah, that's for my sister and me. All right, all right. So there are three. Okay. So they can probably use that hashtag if they uh, if they want to uh, be updated on what's going on uh, with you. Uh, let's see more. 
Kansas. Team Dominion, let's go. Uh, Christine, mm. out west. That's full of positivity indeed. Yeah. Sheila's asking if you're feeling better. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm why? why? Did, were, uh, were, were you like not uh, feeling it for uh, how many days? I, I, no, I, I didn't say anything, but probably they're just asking. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right. Um, just remember to take vitamins and, exactly. and, and, and enough rest. That really is the, um, the key here. And yeah. um, I, and especially let's say if you if you perform uh, more than one show in a week, I mean sleep is key, if not really vital component in in a performer's life. Or in uh, I, I guess more than eight hours is what you should be yeah. uh, giving yourself, right? Yes, it's I agree. Important. And water. And water. How, how do you take care of your voice? I mean, um, we have we do different things because I, I think I mentioned before that for Celine Dion, she does not speak for the entire day that she has a concert. If you want to talk to her, there's a whiteboard, but she will write whatever she needs to, to say and she'll just you know, put it to you. And then you'll have to obviously re uh, reply with the same whiteboard and just write whatever it is you need to. And, and <laughs> uh, I know you, don't, you probably don't go as strict as that, but uh, any uh, voice... Uh, voice taking taking care of voice tips that you can share with people um, out there who are singing as well. Yeah, maybe before the show, I would vocalize for like fifteen minutes and then mm -hmm. drink a lot of water. Uh, that's it. That's that's yeah. like my thing. So water, I, yeah. yeah, just water and vocal exercises so before the no show. No ice cream. No ice tea. Yeah, no cold <laughs> things. No, no cold water before a show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we know that. Um, let's see. JC. Oh, J. JC Fajardo as well. Uh, Hello. Hope to see you soon. Keep safe. San Bellino says hi. And let's say hi. <laughs> Jeremy says, Gandane Ate. Uh, pak na pak ni bang niya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that might be uh, something that people are, are are getting into. Let's say during the lockdown, that they would experiment with their hair. Uh, they would either grow their hair long or yeah, cut, cut, cut it, it short. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Actually, these bangs are the uh, products of quarantine. So I, I, I just I just cut it. You know, I was bored, so cut it. Really, <laughs> I, I I wasn't exactly bored during quarantine, but I. I at the end of the lockdown, it probably looked like one of one of the members or one of the cast members of Money Heist because I had. <laughs> but mind you, I don't speak Spanish. Just... <laughs> oh my gosh! All, I know all 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 I could see and all I could say when I saw myself in the mirror was "Qué horror," <laughs> and that is as as Spanish as I can get. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Uh, let's see, Sheila. Hello again. Um, this is Alika says, I'm kalat. I'm kalat. <laughs> Oh, Sheila says, No milk tea, yes, because I, I guess that's also part of the ice cream thingy. Um, because yeah. milk will create mucus uh, before you sing. That's actually yeah. true, but I drink milk tea before I perform. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, if, you know, if, if you've gotten used to that and it's something that will work for you, then I say, you know, go to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let, let's do a little uh, a game here um, based on your song, Dina uh, Muli. And talaga, it's your song, even though, yes, it is a cover, but you've made it your, your own. So in a way, it is uh, your own uh, already. So... With Dina Mule, let's say, Dina Mule, what will you not eat ever? <laughs> Hindi na oh. kumuli ka akin ng dat dat dat. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> sige. Dina Mule, ako kakain ng laing. Oh my god, I love laing. You don't love that? <laughs> I don't like laing. Really? Oh my god, that's one of my favorite, favorite foods ever. Oh, I mean, no. I'm so sorry. That. That's all right. 
<laughs> to each his own. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't like. Uh, I know a lot of people like mongo. That I don't. But give what? me. See? There, you go. <laughs> see, there you go. So your your reaction is the same thing that I have when people tell me that they don't like lying. They feel it's too, uh, too, I don't know, mushy or, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But I, yes. I would prefer though that if it's cooked, it's cooked uh, with the leaves cut into smaller pieces. I don't like the, the big leaves. Yes. Uh, that's yes. thing. But yeah, okay. Uh, let's say, uh, so we talk about food. Um, ah, hindi, hindi na muli akong bibili ng dat dat dat. Oh my gosh. Hindi <laughs> <Me, laughs> na muli ako bibili galing sa Shopee. <laughs> Ay, uh, matutuwa si Lazada sa'yo. Sige ka. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, pwede sa Lazada kasi ang gastos ko. <laughs> you know, you're not the that only one. All of us who are in quarantine will find ourselves doing that. Click, 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 scroll, 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 add to cart, add to cart. And that was the best therapy that, uh, that we've all had uh, during the lockdown. And even still now, that's the best therapy that, uh, that we've got. Uh, we've got. Uh, so, ang motto for 2020 is add to cart. <laughs> uh, Sheila says, ano, what is laing? Well, Sheila, laing is basically gabi leaves that's, uh, that is uh, cooked with gata. And you can add, let's say, ground meat to it. You can also add strips of sardines. Or or tuyo to to give that uh, salty um, salty quality to the uh, to the dish. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know how to cook laing, but I just you know love 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 to eat it. Okay. Oh, what happened to the video? It stopped. Wait, Janine. Okay. A little uh, a little internet thing. But let me just read out um, more. Uh, greetings from Team Janine, and you guys are like, yay! Dina uh, muli, tapos umibig muli. That's coming from Mark. That's what uh, he says. Um, Karen says, Pansit Canton. Is that something that you don't like, Karen? Pansit Canton, do you have a feel? Uh, hi to Bianca. Hello? Sa. Yes, hello again. I'm so sorry. I, I don't okay. know. It's, there's a problem with the Wi Fi. No worries, no worries. We're we're just here. Um, Alika says, "Masarap kaya." I think she's talking about lying. She looks very old. Lying, ala, naging pagkain nato. Let's say, uh, Karen says, "Hindi na muli ka kain ng pansit kanton." Ano to? Anti carbs ba to? Another team. <laughs> bawal, bawal carbs. Um, let's see. Uh, Sheila says, "Bikulana here sa birthday ko handa ko lai." All right. Awesome. Do you know how to cook that, Sheila? Uh, let's see. Jervis says, hindi na muli bibili ng kahit ano. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Still, on the hindi na muli train, uh, hindi na muli ako susubok ng whatever it is. It could be food. It could be an experience. Uh, it could be uh, something that you tried to do, but no. Yeah. Hindi na muli ako susubok. Hindi na muli ako susubok magputol ng bangs kasi hindi pantay. Hindi ba pantay? Hindi. That's why I can't make it pull bangs. Aha! Sa gilid I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know because... You know, lucky for me, wala akong problema sa bangs. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, ah, let's say, let's, let's move on to music. Um, hindi na muli ako kakanta ng dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's hard! Hindi <laughs> 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 na muli ako kakanta no, oh my gosh. Kasi lahat kakantahin ko eh. Lahat kakantahin mo. <laughs> from, from the, from the pinakabirit songs up to the really, really mushy ones that just leave you like a pool of water in the, on the floor. 
Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Um. Oh no. <laughs> Siguro yung pinakamataas na lang na kanta na nakanta okay. ko ever. Um, Siguro love on top. Because oh, yeah. I think that that's the highest. That, that's a I mean, high song. I think that's such a high song. song. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's high already in itself. And then towards the end of the song, tataasan pa. Exactly. And that's with like, dance pa. Uh, with dance pa, exactly. Those are the days that probably, if you can, gusto mong awayin si Beyonce. Parang, why did you release that song? <laughs> Alam mo naman yung rap, diba? O pwede lang. At kung nalang sa bahay mo, don't release it as single. Huwag mo na kami tayo. <laughs> Um, Christine says, hindi na muli ako kakanta na kahit anong kanta kasi hindi ako singer. Wow. <laughs> um, Mark also says, hindi na muli daw bibili ka. Hindi ko na sabihin. Kaya nga lang. Uh, hindi tayo mo. Hindi tayo mapagalitan. Kasi I buy there as well. <laughs> Baka malam. Oh, lalaglag mo kami. Mimili ka rin sa amin. Eh. <laughs> uh, let's say, Uh, ah, hindi na muli ako magdodraw ng that, that, that. When we were kids, we used to draw stuff. Sometimes they would be stick figures. Minsan galing natin magdraw, but I can't draw for anything for the life of me. Okay. Um, hindi na muli ako magdodraw ng spontaneous things because okay. I can't I can't ever It has yeah. to have a vision. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so people will automatically just use, let's say, a uh, pencil pen, kind of, like sketch. But most of us, right. kind of lapis kind, we're not kind of pencil pen, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do have a story about that because oh, okay. I tried, I tried to paint um, when I went out of the country with my sister, mm-hmm. and um, I didn't have any vision, so I just. Uh, I just painted whatever I I had in mind, and then um, after ilang minutes nung natapos ko niyong painting, I removed it all again, <laughs> and then add another painting, cause nga spontaneous. And then in the evening, I washed it all off again, <laughs> and then add another painting. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Do Do you still do that? Uh, I mean, you know, try and like, yeah, that would be interesting. That would be actually therapy for some people. Um, I've heard of some people during the lockdown tried to do a little bit of painting, tried to do a little bit of uh, coloring, even if they don't know how to paint. You know, those workbooks that have numbers were in, uh, for number one, that was color red. Number two, or green or something. So, you know, that's that's also something that will uh, help pass the time. Um, who else? Uh, Sheila says, Do you want to remake the Love on Top? <laughs> yes, I I sang it because during high school it's on YouTube, and I don't know. <laughs> We don't know. Not, so not, high not now. Today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. But yes, yeah, on YouTube. Uh, let's see, one <laughs> one dot para sa remake. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Ah, hindi na muli ako pupunta sa tatatat. <sighs> hindi na muli ako pupunta sa... Oh my gosh, that's so hard. I love places. <laughs> Wait. Hindi na muli ako pupunta sa... Oh my gosh, na pressure ako. Okay. <laughs> Hindi na ulit ako pupunta. Muli pupunta sa... <laughs> Wait. Um, I guess sa Talahiban. Okay. Oo, oh, kasi yeah. baka may, may ahas dun eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so corny. Wala ako maisip. That's okay. I mean, anything that just, you know, pops in. Same thing with what I'm doing. Uh, whatever pops into your head. Uh, let's see. Since we talked about online shopping and uh, uh, hmm, I forgot. Do not buy any Maybe a specific item. Yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi na ako okay. buy any. Oh gosh. 
because I would buy. Hindi <laughs> 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 na, di na ako muli bibili na Oh. Pick up. Oh. Uh, oh. Pick up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would buy. Oh, you'd buy. <laughs> oh, yun. So, para medyo bawas ang gastos for 2020, uh, di ka bibili mo na ng makeup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sig supply ng sagot ka agad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Since hindi tayo pwedeng bumiyahe anywhere else, But if in case we're given a chance, at ayon pumunta sa isang lugar, so hindi na ako muli pupunta sa whatever bansa may wanna, you know, continue on. Well, I love all the places I visited. Ah, really? So, okay. Yeah, I love I love locations because in places, kahit you know, um, it it brings out a bad memory, but it's it's all for me a memory. So very. Very, ano, very close ako sa mga locations and places. Okay, let's reverse that. Hindi ko mati na muli. Muli akong pupunta sa... Ayan! Ayan na, palit na natin. Oh, puro tayo may ga eh. Positive naman. Balik tayo natin. Yes! Yes, please. <laughs> so, okay, muli okay. akong pupunta sa... Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Muli akong pupunta sa Switzerland, sa France, Ay, sa Tokyo, sa... Yeah, that's it for now. Ay, ay, nangingingit. Sige, ayoko na. End, end na yung telecast natin. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, is, what is it about Switzerland that you like? Malinis? Oh, gosh. My, my sister's from Switzerland, so okay. um, I, just, I just love everything about it. The mountains, the ambience, the people, the air, everything about it. Super. Everything, everything seems so clean. Uh, in yes, exactly. You know how, how, like you as a person, um, it just describes you as a country. Well, that's mm-hmm. my country. I, you can right, describe right. me as Switzerland. It's so nice. Uh, uh, Sheila yeah. says Maldives for her. Wow. Nice, Sheila. Maldives. Yamanin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Fast down the energy more, according to Jeff. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, ayan. Uh, muli ako kakain ng... Ayan, balik na naman tayo doon. We just reversed the whole thing again. Yes. Okay. I love that. Muli ako kakain ng crispy pata! Uh-huh. Wait. Deep fried or air fried? <laughs> deep fried. Deep fried talaga. Kaya mo na air fried. <laughs> What's air fried? <laughs> um, it, 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 Sorry. It, It's that um, contraption that you can cook your food na walang, uh, walang na hindi pilipirito. So you just basically put it there and then naka-air fry siya. So maluluto siya ng pusa. That's what oh, wow. it. Yeah. I've never tried it sa crispy pata. So. It, 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 it'll take about siguro 30 minutes. Kasi 15 minutes per side day. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, for the older generation, you probably would know that a turbo broiler But for the new generation, it's called air fryer. So yeah, um, medyo bumili na air fryer lolo mo, so natuwa ako. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can cook almost anything that needs to be fried, minus the oil. So if you're uh, if you're health conscious, you can do that. You can fry, I've fried chicken, I've fried frying fries as well, and yes, crispy pata. So 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So a little over 30 minutes uh, to, to cook that. So, ayun, balik na naman tayo sa pagkain. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, ah, muli ako magbibigay ng dot, dot, dot. Muli ako magbibigay ng pagmamahal sa supporters. Ah, yeah! I <laughs> love you back. One thousand times more for that one. That's for sure. Ayan. Team Janine, narinig niyo na? Uh, muli nang bibigyan ng pagmamahal and appreciation Jimmy, uh, for that. Yeah. Uh, Sheila says, ang fresh ni Ate Ginny, mas fresh pa sa fresh milk. <laughs> <laughs> um, she also says, nice answer, nakakakilig. <laughs> and uh, nag-video greetings daw lahat ng mga fans according to Jervis. 
Yeah. Uh, Gene Corpus says, uh, we love you too. And they, 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 all, they all got to hear that. And uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, coming from Karen. Thank you, loves. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. Wow, we've, we've been talking for about 45 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> Kain, shopping, bangs, paglalakbay sa bansa. <laughs> uh, yeah, how about, uh, if, if, since you said that you love uh, to travel, uh, on the local side, any any local spot that you like to go to, to visit? Oh, uh, I'd love to go to Batanes. Oh, God, Batanes is so good. It's so nice. It's like the New Zealand of the Philippines, uh, you know, basically New Zealand of the Philippines. The New Zealand of the If you can, if you can, shoot a, a video on the, what they call the Marble Marlboro Hills. Isn't it so nice? It's so pretty. Maganda. Oh my gosh. Pero okay. maganda, maganda ka lang sa signal. Medyo na challenge ka sa signal. So, but that was like uh, four, wait, four or five years ago for me. So hopefully now, or when we are able to travel, maybe in 2022, uh, may sell site na maayos na So at least people will not have uh, you know, difficulty uh, with the drug test. If I can send you a photo uh, of, of, of how the rolling hills are in Batanes, it's just breathtaking. You probably feel like you're either in New Zealand or in, in Ireland. Then the, I mean, green, green hills and then overlooking the, the, the sea the shore edge of the cliffs and then you can hear the waves oh it would be great to me to go back uh, oh gosh yeah 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 if, if you can and 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 that's why i always tell people let's say if you have if you have time and if you have you know the money uh try and and and, and travel as much as you can because that yeah. is something that money will not be able to, to give you. Uh, really first-hand experience. And, and, and not just, you know, bury yourself in, into the book, but really be there. Because what memories that you may have from going to places, hindi mo bibili ng That's true. So if you can. So, yeah. No, if I, yeah, sama mong buong team dyan yun, di ba? Sama sa Tubatanos. Yeah! <laughs> Game. <laughs> uh, BPNS Batanes, according to JP. Direct. <laughs> uh, Marivic says, "Tara, tara." <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Sheila also says, "Yeah, tama daw si Batanes." Yun. Uh, Marivic says, "Team Jenny Batanes represents." Oi, the Batanes pala. Oh, nito. All around, you know, all around the uh, Luzon, besides in the round team. Uh, this one I like. Sheila says, extend the name, 10 to 2, 3, 6, 6. Ano tayo, hanggang ding, hangga alas 12 ng gabi? Kailangan kumain si Janine. Kailangan kumain na po si Pata. Bianca says, good vibes uh, as well. Uh, Karen says, "Pag hindi batanes, maybe batangas." Ayon din nila kita lapit nito. Just yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tentang pansol. Ay mali, sorry, that's Laguna pala. Ayan. Um, and then Mark says, "Kung pwede, batanes free." Yeah. Ako pwede lang. <laughs> Kung pwede lang. Um, and then sama daw si Alnica. She says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, wow, well, 49 uh, more minutes, uh, but uh, I would love to, you know, to, to keep you on for much longer, but we know that uh, your time is important as well, Janine. Now, for those who join us today, not to worry, after this uh, episode of On The Spot 947, we will be uploading uh, the video of you singing your single. So if I'm going to ask, which one would you prefer me to share with everyone? The one with the guitar or the one without the guitar? With the guitar. With the guitar. Okay. So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the guitar, indeed. Uh, for those people who uh, are not sure on where to find you on social media, where can they find you? 
Yes, um, on, I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, Janine Danioso, and also on YouTube, Janine Danioso. There. And all my songs are available on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. Which is where most good songs are, indeed. <laughs> yes. Spotify. And, and on... also, sorry, don't yeah. forget to watch the music video of Umi yes. Muli yeah. and share it to your friends and family. Uh, will the music video that's supposed to be premiering tonight uh, with uh, with the you and, and the ones 8 p.m. Uh, is that also going to be telecast on your own YouTube channel? No, it's actually on their YouTube channel. So okay, all right. So yeah. YouTube can, or if not, you can still probably be sharing it on your own page as well. Yes. So, yeah. so for those people who are following the name, uh, 8 p.m. tonight is a video that you must okay so uh Janine, thank you so much for, for being thank here you time and um uh, we can't wait for another song oh, of course can't wait for another i'm not gonna say another lockdown because i'm gonna isa but <laughs> but more songs to come from you and uh with the proposed album that you're working on um as early as now is there like maybe a title of the album that you think um, surprise! 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 I'm gonna album surprise. Wala na alam na naman surprise in title eh. Magugulat na lang sa lahat. Magugulat na lang. Okay. Um, with regards to the album, most of the things are are digital these days. But uh, is there still a um, uh, a move to make a physical album? Or I just actually, I wanted one. Um, I want one. I'm planning to have one. So, yeah, okay. probably. So that would be another surprise along the way. Yes. <laughs> okay. So thank you, thank you, Janine. Uh, thank we'll you for having me. On, on more songs, more singles. Um, I, I've, I've listened to the song. I like both versions. That's why I was torn uh, to, to upload which version, the one with or without the guitar. But since with your blessing. It will be with the guitar, so that is basically what we're going to be uh, sharing. But if in case, down the line, uh, it's also okay to share the one without the guitar as well. Right? Right. <laughs> At least you know, people can, you know, can, can watch and uh, can choose uh, for themselves. All right. Janine, stay safe, stay creative, stay positive, and uh, know that the good that you put out into the world, the universe will reward you 10 times for it all right wow. uh thank you also everyone from from team janine and thank janine you. lovers uh joining us today and uh this has been cast on the spot 97 with we'll keep you posted and which artists we're we'll putting on the spot until then stay safe stay home stay smart and stay mellow have a good one everybody bye, bye.